Hey everyone, how y'all doing? So, I just got done recording video on my EDC sling bag. Um, I used to carry this bag all the time. I kind of got away from it. I went to something smaller. This is a sling bag slash fanny pack from Recycled Firefighter. Awesome little bag. But this one, I used the EDC all the time. And I wanted to make sure I had everything I might need so I stuffed this thing full um, now I always take a little tool kit with me and usually my I put my tools that I want in this little little pouch from Dickinson's trading post but traveling you know it's over a three hour drive I want to take extra tools and you just never know what's going to happen. So I went back to the Max Expedition Mini. And I had this thing stuffed right full. Um, there's some redundancy in here. For sure. But I grabbed stuff. Kind of last minute setup <coughs> Of things I want to make sure I had. And yeah. This thing's heavy. It weighs over 2 pounds. It's like two pounds five ounces it makes up the bulk of this this is this feels light without this thing in it but all together this was six pounds so yeah i i carried a lot of extra stuff that i probably didn't need to but i had it if i needed it so yeah i thought i'd show what i stuffed in this little pouch you can see it's it's, it's stuffed right full. Um, I'm not sure what the best way of doing this. I don't have an overhead camera set up right now. But maybe I'll angle the GoPro down. You might be able to see everything. But yeah. Other than my Zippo tape measure flopping around. Um, that's the setup. I got a lot of crap, crap in here. Like I said, there's some redundancy, you know, but I think I think it's a pretty complete little little toolkit. So yeah, I think I'll try to angle the camera down. Maybe you'll be able to see. So give me a minute, I'll be right back. Okay, so it looks like the camera's a long ways away, but it's literally like a foot. Um and I'm doing this upside down. Hopefully I keep things in frame. But yeah, I guess go from this side to this side and work across. So first thing right here on top is my little Zippo tape measure. I have several of these. I like to have one of these with me all the time. Comes in handy. Um, I have this little key keeper clip. I have an Olight i1R2, little rechargeable flashlight, comes in handy. I have one on my keychain. Um, thing is, I had flashlights and I wasn't using one when I was walking in the dark and I tripped. Um, if I had one of my many flashlights, I would have been okay. Um, here, just a Sharpie standard sharpie pen um go to this right here i have my leatherman wave plus awesome multi-tool i used to carry this on my belt all the time i've kind of relegated this to my little tool pouch if i carry a full-size multi-tool i carry the victorinox spirit x um, which I have the tool kit in here also, but yeah Leatherman wave plus I mean you got everything you need you got a saw file you got all the screwdriver bits Scissors, you know Not the best at any one thing, but it's good at a lot of things. So I like having that I have the bit extender that's handy plus I have both bit cards so right here I got 
a whole tool box of different bits from flathead to um, Phillips head to Torx to hex bits you name it they're in here awesome and I think that's it is there any there's something back here and this was a last minute throw in when I was packing this thing up and it's my work sharp outdoor pocket sharpener which is pretty cool little tool you got diamond stone up here and ceramic stone right there and then I have three bits I replaced the original bits with Weeha bits I have a T6, T8 and a T10 so if I had an issue with my knife which I I carried my Benchmade bug out when we were down there um, easily I could fix it you know clip came loose or pivot came loose easy fix I could touch it up if I you know happen to use it enough to dull it um, on this side I have my little Fisher space pen bullet which I did not even when I packed it I did not even check to see if it wrote <laughs> That's always a good thing. If you have a pen, make sure it has ink. But yeah, that writes. So that was good. Didn't use it. Um, but continuing on, here is a little extra thing I threw in last minute. And this is a little um, Dermasafe little hacksaw, little metal saw. Pretty cool little thing. I need to get a couple more of these. Um, I don't carry this every day. In fact, you know, when I use this pouch, I don't even have it. Something I thought about and I threw in here for the trip. Um, here I have my little titanium pry bar from Titan Talon Tool Company off Etsy can't I use this all the time comes in handy awesome to have a pry tool longer little longer pry tool one two three four five inch five inch pry tool it's lightweight now here I have my Knipix Cobra water pump pliers 125s five inch awesome pair of pliers they do so much more than than a needle nose pliers on a multi-tool um, but sometimes they go good together you know for certain circumstances but awesome pliers now these i i edc a lot um, either in my pouch my edc bag or on my person i'll slip in this little leather slip throw in my pocket use these all the time and i also took the knipix pliers wrench now this takes the place of an adjustable wrench like crescent wrench they have parallel jaws and a difference between using this and the crescent wrench you it, it closes down grip sign is something good um, I've used them, I've used these a lot. You can see I actually, I'm probably the only one to ever damage one of these. I was working on my brakes on my truck and I was trying to get the caliper bolt out and I, I was using these just for, you know, small for clearance and I was putting some major torque on it. Um, I didn't end up getting that caliper, caliper bolt out i ended up having to take it to the garage um but yeah i had these in there you know very small they're not real heavy awesome tools now i got here's here's where i get into some redundancy overlapping i have all these bits i also have three torx bits with the work sharp uh, I decided to throw in my little tool kit 
from my Victorinex Spirit X. And pretty cool. And again, I got several different bits. Um, you have this L wrench. Put the bit in this end. You got a lot of torque. Put a bit in this end. You got a little more reach. I added this um, square to hex head little adapter so I could use use this with these sockets. Now it's just a cheap pair of sockets. I don't even know where I got them. I think they came into one of those real cheap automotive tool sets. I'm not sure. Um, you almost need pliers to get, get one of these things out. But that one I must have had out because it was partially out. But as you can see, you can put that on there. And I got a little socket wrench. So, like I said, I had a lot of driver bits and stuff with me. I think I could um, handle a lot of different situations that could have arose. But yeah, that's it. Is there anything in here? No. So, that's the toolkit I took. Let me put the camera back up. Yeah, so, that's the toolkit I took with us on the trip. And I've been lugging it around like this for several weeks now. Um, I will probably pare it back down, put things in here, what I use mostly. I got the Knipix in here. I put the Leatherman Wave. I put the bit kit, the extension, and a tape measure inside on the back. I might put the pry tool. Um, maybe a Sharpie is always good to have. And that's what I'll probably most likely EDC during the summer. But yeah, if I'm going someplace and I want extra tools, I'll probably set this thing up just like this again and lug around two pounds of tools. But yeah, thought I'd just share that with you. Pretty, you can't beat these Max Edition pouches. If I find one, link to one, um, I'll drop it in the description. But most everyone know what these things are and they're easy to find on Amazon different places. But I guess that'll do it for this video. Do the usual like, comment, subscribe, and until the next video, bye.